Hi, I'm Ron Pars from parpools.com, and today we're going to talk about the fifth key of good spa and hot tub care, which is water chemistry. Now, everybody thinks that this is what spa and hot tub care is all about, but if we take the, the first four keys and the last key and then add this key in, all, you'll see that all of them work synergistically to give you the best possible spa or hot tub experience that you can have. When it comes to spa water chemistry, there are four main parts to it that we, that we need to take a look at. They are maintaining a good, uh, good sanitizer level, shocking the spa, enhancing the spa, and maintaining good water balance. And we'll go through each of them. The first is maintaining a good sanitizer level. As you can see, there are lots of spa chemicals available, but you're not going to be using any, nearly half of them. We have to keep in mind that there are primary sanitizers and then non-primary sanitizers. Your primary sanitizers are chlorine or bromine. They're beguinide products such as soft soak or Baquaspar, leisure time free. Then there's pristine blue, which is also a non-chlorine or bromine product. Those product, these primary sanitizers, they're able to do a sanitizing job, which means killing bacteria by themselves. They don't need anything extra. Other products that do require additional help would be products such as Nature 2 or a Spa Frog or Ozone. All of those need to have some small level of chlorine or bromine present in order for them to do their, their job properly. Keep in mind that most skin rashes that people come out of a spa with are not caused by too much chlorine or bromine, but in actuality they're caused by an improper amount or too little. When you have bacteria growing and it's allowed to grow because the sanitizer level is not correct, then you will have skin rashes or you, you may have other, other health issues and we want to eliminate those. I would invite you to watch our, our video on spa biofilms for more information. The second part to good water, water chemistry is to shock the spa. We want to shock the spa at least once each week to oxidize bather waste and we want to oxidize other contaminants that might be in the spa. We also want to break up chloramines or bromamines because that is, that is a combined chlorine or a combined bromine that doesn't do much more than sit there and smell. And you don't, you don't want to be sitting in a smelly spa. When it comes to shocking, make sure that you use the appropriate amount and also the appropriate type of shock with, with your spa. Never use a chlorine or bromine shock with a beguinide system. And the same thing, you don't want to use a beguinide uh, type of shock with a chlorine or bromine system. After shocking the spa, make sure that you turn the jets on and then leave the spa uncovered for at least a half an hour. What that will do is, that as the, as the shocking performs its, its chemical duty, you will then allow all that nasty stuff to just gas off. And when it gases off and it's not being trapped by the spa insulating cover, you end up with a, with a much better um, experience. Our third part to good water chemistry is enhancing the spa. And, and we can enhance the spa by adding one of, of, of three items. And what we mean by enhancing is to make the spa better, to make the sanitizer work more efficiently or more effectively. And there are three things that, that you can add to enhance the, the spa water chemistry. The first product is an enzyme. Enzymes are terrific natural products that eat up or consume regular organic waste. They also eat up body oils and that type of thing. The second item that, that we can add to enhance the spa are borates. And borates are wonderful because not only do they help to make the spa silky and, and the water, water feel smoother, but they will also dr dramatically aid in chlorine consumption and bromine consumption. What they will also do is act as a secondary buffer for the pH and alkalinity so those two factors are maintained more easily. The third product to enhance the spa 
is a product called Aquafinesse. And Aquafinesse is a great product in that it is able to continually remove biofilms from the spa surfaces and also from the spa plumbing. And when you remove all those biofilms, you are also re removing a majority of the bacteria from the water. So the, the Aquafinesse gets in there, removes the biofilms, puts it on your, on your filter, you clean the filter, and, and, you're, and you're taken care of. The last part to good spa and hot tub water chemistry is maintaining a good water balance. And maintaining good water balance involves and includes pH, total alkalinity, and water hardness. Without good water balance, the sanitizer will not work properly. It's, it will consume too much or it will slow it down. So you want to be able to, to maintain good sanitizer efficiency. Also, if the pH and alkalinity are, are not correct, they will also affect the spa, the spa equipment, and also your body as well. For example, low pH is going to corrode your heater. It's also going to corrode some of the jets and the other fittings within the spa. If the pH is too high or the alkalinity is too high, you'll find that you have a scaling problem. And that's what you don't want to have. Be able to learn more about water balancing in our video on the importance of good water balance for your spa or hot tub. And I would encourage you to watch that. In the meanwhile, enjoy your spa. Thanks for watching. You can also uh, gain more information at our website at parpools.com forward slash six spa keys. If you have any questions, you can email me at techhelp at parpools.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the spa.